Hello everyone, it's Nate and welcome back to Battle of the Brands. Today's battle is between Jeffree Star and Colourpop. Two brands, expensive and affordable, dramatic yet simple but both so beautiful. Who will win, Jeffree Star or Colourpop? As you gorgeous people know, this is about the product, not the people behind it. Any tip you may have with them, please cast it away because this is a channel of positive energy, okay? Thank you. If any of these reach a tie, it really doesn't matter because in the end, the decision is yours. Yes, that's right. My opinion is less impactful than Aunt Sherry's apology for drunkenly grabbing your left boob last Christmas. We know you're a lesbian, Aunt Sherry. Give it up. But anyway, Jeffrey's new lipstick ammo is supposedly the biggest thing since his liquid lipstick. One lipstick will cost you $18 plus $6 shipping, making this $24 for 0.12 ounces. That translates into $2 per 0.01 ounce or $1.50 before shipping. Colourpop has their lippy for $5 with $5 shipping making it $10 for 0.035 ounces. Even though you're initially paying more for Jeffries, you're actually getting more for your money making him our first winner. Now on to packaging. I get so much shit for judging on packaging but I don't think people realize that the packaging is what sells the product. Do you think Kylie would have sold as much as she has had she not had amazing packaging? Y'all can lie and say yes but we know that it's the packaging that got us. And it's the same for so many companies. Like if this Touche Clat didn't come in a gold pen and came in like a little pot, do you think people would still pay 40 bucks for it? Fuck no. So yes, packaging is very important, especially in the cosmetic world. You could have a palette of 20 different brown shades and nobody will look at it. Wrap that thing in gold and everybody and their fucking mother will want it. It is all about presentation. Anyways, let's get down to judging. I want to love Jeffries because it looks so cool, but at the same time, this is so cheap. Like the lid just like falls off. Whereas Colourpop's, this thing is staying on like Mm, yeah, it's good. Colourpop's is so stupidly simple that even though it's $5, it doesn't look or feel cheap. Like, I love the holographic wording, and I love the mobility of this. Like, you could just put this in your pocket, your messenger bag, your purse, and the cap would not come off and ruin everything in it. In the end, Jeffries does look really cool, and that is what initially sold me, but looking at it closely, it just looks and feels so cheap. So, I know some of you guys are gonna hate me for this, but I'm gonna give this one to Colourpop. And now, for the moment we've all been waiting for, let's swatch these bitches. You guys know the song. Are you ready? It's smart and ta ha 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 <sighs> All right, this half of my mouth will be Colourpop's Goldie. Here we go. Okay, I just have to say, I fucking love this applicator. Like, the plastic tube forces it to always have a point, and I used that point to kind of line my lips. It made it so easy. And now on to Jeffree Star's unicorn blood. Here we go. Ah, oh, shit. Well, that was definitely just as easy to apply, so I'm just gonna give this one a tie. Here they are up close. For pigmentation, they are both very good, and they're similar-ish in color. I think the biggest difference is the dryness of color pops. It's not bad or anything, it's just Jeffree's feels more moisturizing and kind of like luxe. For pigmentation, they are both banging, so I'ma do it, I'm gonna call another tie. All right, it is time for the final round, wear time. I'm gonna wear this for about two hours. I'm gonna drink some coffee, have a little snack, and I will see you in just a minute. And here we are after two hours, they both did hold up okay, but Colourpop's definitely wiped off a lot less than Jeffree's did. So, we have to give this one to Colourpop. So to tally these babies up, for price, we have Jeffree. For packaging, we have Colourpop. For applicator, we have a tie. For pigmentation, we have a tie. And for wear time, we have Colourpop, making the overall winner Colourpop. On a side note, we're all friends here, we can be truthful. I honestly liked the coloring of Jeffree's more than I liked Colourpop's. It had that deep, rich black undertone to it, and even though it wiped off like instantly, I would happily reapply it several times throughout the day just to achieve that look. So that's just me, that's just my humble opinion. I liked it. And there you go. Don't forget my new single, Underwater, is available everywhere online that music is sold. Thank you so much to everyone who's supporting it. Comment down below, let me know what you thought of this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You can follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter at OfficialNady, and you can follow me online at thepoplex.com. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all, and I will see you again soon. Bye.